Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. The songs that came through for this morning's reading were Again by Aaron Lewis. And She Talks to Angels by the Black Crows. So I'm not really sure how they play in it together. It's always like you're talking about two different people. <clears throat> the song Again by Aaron Lewis, if you listen to the lyrics, it's him talking about when he used to go out on the road and when he was in the band Stained and he was chasing sad songs and maybe even perhaps when he moved over into country music. Just always out in on a tour bus, out on tour, out chasing these sad songs and always leaving people behind and and the people that got left behind were always wanting to know when are you coming on when are you coming on and he felt like he let them down and he got to the place where he felt nothing like he had no feelings whatsoever he was numb and he says in that song i would give everything to feel anything again so it's like I don't know. Somehow it caused him to become numb because I guess after you've done something for so long and it's not who you really are and you you begin to hate yourself for that and you know it's not who you're, who you're supposed to be, what you're supposed to be doing and spirit will keep pulling you back to, to your destiny, to what it is that you're supposed to be doing <clears throat> and will use people in your life that miss you terribly to do that, I guess. And then she talks to angels by the Black Crow. That's about a girl who has struggled with addiction. And she talks to angels. And that is what it is. But if you want to look up the words, feel free to do so. This is going to be one of the shortest readings I've ever done on this channel. <laughs> it has to be. I have to go to work. All right, how are you working in this collective? I'm working on your love life or your love. I'm working on how much you love people. I'm working on your money. I'm giving you humility. And I'm giving you peace. That's beautiful. Wow. Gentleness overall. And gratitude, you know, gratitude will take us places in life that we can't get any other way. That gratitude will take you a long ways. Humility will too. Being humble, letting letting others be in, in don't don't put yourself in center stage. Let others have center stage. Put God in center stage. All right, let's pull some from our real quick and see what's going on here. Sir, if you may see what's going on here in this particular collective today, we thank you so very much. Death is here, Scorpio is here, and Taurus is here with the Hierophant in reverse. So there's a higher level commitment. This could be a job. There's something that's being transformed because it's ending, and there's going to be a wheel. There's a wheel of fortune coming. <clears throat> that may be bringing this to a close i'm not really sure we're going to go quickly to try and find out how this happened may we see in here don't use those don't use those use the other ones okay talk to me spirit about how this happened how does this happen to the collective have sex so this happened because you had sex what was the need? Go all in or get the fuck out, cook a fucking meal, and we can't be all things. Whew. And what was being shown? That's not good. Fuck your job. You're hot, smart, and you have a great ass, and check yourself. You're playing with fire. And what's going to happen next? You have a lot going on, baby doll. I thought this was going to be a quick one. Alright, you're going to realize that love can hurt like hell. It's time to talk money. Somebody's going to have to listen. And you're having, you're having to ask yourself, do I, do I really love them? Do I really love them? Fuck my feelings. I have logic for a reason. And people are messy. Alright, so 
You heard what I said. This happened because of having sex. Secretly, you had to cook a meal, go all in or get the fuck out. Secretly, you're asking yourself, do I really love him? And you're like, fuck my feelings. I have logic for a reason. I need to use it. So, you do love somebody, I think. But, you know, it just it isn't going to work. Because you know you're playing with fire. Somebody's hot, smart, and has a great ass. You're, you're, you're having sex with somebody at work, it looks like. And I think you're going to end up getting fired or quitting your job because of this. Something's about to happen that's going to cause you some up people. Because you're playing with fire. Now you just go, the spirit says. Alright, now that we have an idea of what's going on here, may I see how this happened, please? That's a lot of cards. <laughs> okay. There was an official person, and then they had to have adjudication. They gave you a... Mm. Okay, so uh, there was somebody that you... It was like a supervisor, an official person, somebody official had to, like, they called you in the office and they said, I'm writing you up. So somebody got written up here. All right, well, what's being hidden? That somebody married. What's being shown? So you were having sex with somebody that's married at work. Or you're married. A house is being shown. And what's going to happen next? The family room is here. The courthouse is here. And a great fortune is here. So, it looks, oh, I don't know. There's a thief on the bottom of the deck. There's something going on with the house. And that came out in yesterday's reading, too. There's something going on with somebody's house. You, Somebody official is having to decide your case. And they sent a message to a, a main male. What's being hidden is that somebody's married. What's being shown is their house. And what's going to happen next is their family room. They're going to have to go to court and they're going to have a great fortune. A lot of money is going to come from this. But it looks like you're, you're married secretly. You're lying about being married somehow. When it comes to having to go to court, adjudication is court. Somebody had, it happened because you had sex, okay? Remember that. And there was an official person, they had to judge between this, this situation like, okay, you had sex with them at work, you're not supposed to be doing that, so I'm writing you up, that kind of thing. And secretly you're married. And you don't even know if you even love this person. As simple as that. Uh, what's going to be the outcome here? Can you show me the outcome here? Somebody's going to do some online dating. What's being hidden? Somebody's at their breaking point. They can't move on. And they did not mean for this to happen in reverse. So... Anytime you online date, you know that you have the potential of meeting somebody. So you met somebody online, you had sex with them. All right, what's being shown is that somebody doesn't know what they want to do about this secret love and there's some denial. What's going to happen next? Somebody's going to be unfazed and they're going to have to wait. They're going to have regret though in the meantime. What's going to happen to the one that's waiting? They're going to be worried. They're going to be stalking. And they're going to be thinking they will call. So you're worried about this. You're leading a double life, dude. A double life. Alright. Anything else we need to know about how this happened? You were in love. You were attracted to somebody. You were in love with somebody. This was a soul tie reunion. And this was also somebody that made you feel real comfortable. Like, they they made you feel like you were in, you were clinging to your comfort zone here. You had an attraction. You were in love. 
and you wanted to have a soul tie reunion, but you were in your comfort lane. All right, well, what was going to give you? That you loved yourself and that fate is about to step in and cause a divine detour because of your fears. Fate is going to step in and help you with your fears. What's being shown? That there's going to be an apology because somebody is awakening and remembering. What are they awakening to? This union, this integration. All right, what's going to happen next? Your spirit guides are assisting with your regret and unity. All right, so we have a relationship going on here, obviously. Let's see what's going to go. What's going to go down here? Did this denial. Why is denial coming out twice now? Because somebody's going to have to be rejected and they're going to take care of themselves. What happens to the one that's being rejected? They're unavailable. And stability. They don't have stability and they're unavailable. What happens to the one that's not being rejected? They're going to have healing. A friendship. It's a twin flame and they're going to set boundaries with somebody who has an addiction. Because they have a new love and they want to be released so they can have support from this new love. Wow. And marriage on the bottom of the deck. Anything else we need to know here? You have to wait for things to get balanced out. Your money's funny. But this is fate. Use your intuition and go slow. Same message we've been getting all week long. Alright, angels, how are you helping in this situation? Giving somebody courage. Anything else? Manifesting and administration, which is putting people, places, and things right where they need to be for your highest and greatest good. There will be forgiveness here. Alright, let's just quickly see what would this um what would the collective say? The collective would say, You're my impossible love. Oh, why, Lord, help me, I can't stand this. What would the Divine Masculine or Feminine say in, re in return to them? They would say, where have you been my whole life? I should delete you out of my phone completely. And I know your fine ass is not single. Anything else anybody wants to say? Tell me again why you're single. And I can see myself marrying you one day with... I don't even like your text, but I'll text you all day long. Alright, let's see what your best friend would say here. Best friend, what would you say about this situation? It sounds like the same one we've had going on for ages. Love yourself first and trust the process. Love yourself first and trust the process. Alright, let's find out how you can love yourself. Love who you are. These are called love who you are cards, okay? Alright, how can we love who we are through this process we're going through, Spirit? May I speak, please? Thank you so very much. We keep getting that starfish. Own your star and tell shame to suck it. <laughs> Own your star and tell shame to suck it. Number 22 is Own Your Star. Not all stars belong to the sky. Just look at the starfish and you. One of a kind, brilliant, luminous. Never let anyone dull your shine. Endeavor to know that your value is not based on what service you provide or how you can be pleasing, pretty, or productive. Rather, know your worth based on the radiant stardust coursing through your veins. Stand in your shine. Be willing to love anything be willing to lose anything that requires you to lose part of your beautiful self. And then number three. So you got to let go of things that are causing you to lose your shine. Because you're a star and you're meant to shine. Number three. <clears throat> Tell shame to, to suck it. Tell shame to suck it. You're too beautiful, too lovely, too worthy to spend any time in shame. Healthy guilt is about recognizing that our actions were not on the mark and could be improved. 
do over and do better. There's power in that kind of guilt. But shame is an attack on your very on your very essence. It depletes your energy and steals your shine. Stay out of that pit. Find a friend and practice shame re resiliency. Get vulnerable. Get real. Own your original innocence. Shame will send you into hiding. Don't let it. You are a rare bird. And you are too cute for that crap. Alright, let's go with trinket. Trinket, 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 trinket. Alright, I have a feather and I have a Chinese thing that says... Consider your impressions and follow them once in a while. I have a family tree. I have a dragonfly. How cool is that? Another family tree. And then I have... Wishes really do come true. Alright. And then um, somebody sews. That's an indication that somebody sews. I have the world, the I Ching, a lotus flower, and every fair from fair sometimes declines. I have a prick or cactus. I have the love between a grandmother and granddaughter is forever. And I have a horse. Of course. Maybe you love horses. Or maybe you're from Kentucky. Alright, I think we're going to end it there for today. We'll look at your money real quick. Is there anything collector needs to know about their finances today, Spirit? You're, you're about to go to the next level on social media. Somebody's going to have a job working from home. And you didn't have options. Outcome of all this. Beautiful. You're going to have recognition. You've been going slow, but you're going to have recognition. You've been doing spell work and the underworld is here. And you're going to leave a legacy. Clarify the spell work. You're going to be comfortable. You're going to get on the right path. You're going to be sharing. And your beauty is here as well with activating new gifts beautiful so it looks like your stalwart is working congratulations on that all right i guess we're gonna let it go there higher self has a word higher self is saying what do you mean i don't want to say something what would our higher self say to us today let me ask you please higher self don't you, want to, don't you want to say something? <laughs> I thought you had something you wanted to say. What do you want to say? Here you go. You have a lot to say. Your higher self wants you to listen. Your higher self wants you to forgive. Let go. Expect the unexpected. Clear your energy. Have acceptance. And deal with your fear and your anger. Wow. With freedom. Once you get through the fear and the anger, you're going to be free. Okay? You have to deal with those things. Anything else you want to say, Spirit? Let's find out what the Instant Magic Oracle would say. Instant Magic Oracle, may I access your wisdom, please? What would you say to your collective? Send me a sign, a bay leaf, a pen, a candle, matches, or a lighter. Write your question on the, on the um, bay leaf. Hold the bay leaf, un, hold the flame under the bay leaf. And if it burns, your if it burns right away, oh, I'm sorry, let me slow down. I'm in a hurry and I'm trying to do this too fast. Write your question on a bay leaf. Hold Hold it over a flame, and if it burns, say this incantation. And as it burns, as it burns, bay leaf, bay leaf, answer me. Send me a smoke signal so I can see. If the bay leaf burns bright and easily, then your answer is yes. If it doesn't burn or catch fire easily and it refuses to burn, then the answer is no. So then you need the answer to a yes or no question. And that's a way that you can get the answer. Alright, I hope you have a beautiful day. Take care. I think, did I pull Tremo on this? 
see it. Alright, let's pull Tarot on this. I don't think I did. What did I have here? I had... Why is death here? Because somebody's about to have... Oh, somebody has manifested a brand new something. A new home, a new job, or something. Why is the higher font here? Because of death. You're, you're, you're scared to take a risk. You're very passionate about this, but you're scared to take a risk. What happens? Why is the wheel on the bottom of the deck? Oh, pardon the wrong deck alert. Somebody's very nurturing. Why is the wheel on the bottom of the deck? Because of cancer, the moon, and you don't know. It's like, I don't know what will happen if I do this. What will be the outcome if they do this? There's a wheel that's going to move you in a certain direction. But you're not going to know the outcome. You're going to move towards somebody. You're going to reject somebody. It looks like it worked and it's going to end. It has to do with a Leo that's in denial. Alright, so it's like you're coming towards somebody with love to work. But it's ending with this Leo because of denial. Yeah, it's over. Whatever the relationship was with this Leo at work or what you were working with or trying to work things out with, it's over. Where are you going with that cup of love? You're going somewhere with it. You're, okay, you're not looking for love at all. You don't want it. You're moving away from love completely and you're focusing on your money. Yeah, you're looking back at how that's how you got off track. Outcome, if they focus on their money. Oh, you're going to have, you're going to choose to be in love with, you're going to find, you're going to meet the person of your dreams while you're focusing on your money. And this is going to be justice. I have the four of wands, the lovers, and the king of cups, which is a cancer vibe. While you're focusing on your money, you're going to meet the person of your dreams. It could be a Cancer, a Gemini, a Sagittarius, or um, a Libra. But you're going to meet the person of your dreams while you're focusing on your money. All right, I love you guys, and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.